Hello. Well, uh, I got dug up some more video. Um, we have a, a run that was poorly videoed, poorly camera by me, and I have not published it due to that. However, it, I does notice that it uh, really focuses on the control console as the engine is being started and ran and shut down, actually. It was videoed out at a friend's at a rural area and all I had was the GoPro on a helmet cam on a helmet mount so pretty much it's shaky it's jittery uh, doesn't stay still very well and there's hardly, almost no footage of the actual engine running but I do zero in, or zoom in on the gauges and you get to see what's going on there
this gas gauge was like four hundred ten. A little bit of fuel puddling underneath the ground. That was like forty percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that's not that's about half its power. You can only see about a third of the way that I don't know how far that burner can goes around, but there's only three lights. That's those, those lights are holes. Okay, yeah, in the but it, I noticed it wasn't going all the way around. Right, those those lights those are where the holes in the turbine nozzle that's are. That's all there are. Just yes, three? yeah, like this seven o'clock, nine o'clock position looking at the rear. The exhaust gas temperature indicator is the most important one on the console. The percent RPM is um, nice to have to give you some idea of what's going on. With I don't have the workbench light on to cut down on all, all that glare. If you'll notice, um, fairly simple in our zoom in. Okay. Here are our two important indicators exhaust temperature and percent RPM. Exhaust temperature is connected to a set of thermocouples in the exhaust or in the jet pipe exhaust stream to give a rough idea of temperature that's being applied to the turbine and the nozzle. This, uh, this probe is located just aft of the turbine wheel. 100% RPM would be the full maximum power speed of this engine. All right, so we go here to our handy dandy manual. And if we look here, maybe that's zoomed in a little bit. Let's zoom back. We can look here. It says engine speed idle 5,300 plus or minus 200 RPM normal rated which I believe that would be the 100 percent RPM that is 15,100 plus or minus 150 RPM military or maximum rated is 15,780 plus or minus 150 RPM so we will say at idle is 5,300 RPM that's basically I don't know. It's basically 30 to 33 percent, about a third of 100. I'm sorry. It's about a little over 33 percent of normal rated. Uh, you guys out. Okay, let's do this again here. Um, okay. So at idle, I'm idling at about 30%, 33% RPM. And I have never had it revved up, so I don't know if, if this TAC generator and RPM indicator is working properly, but I, I did have it checked by an instruments uh, technician and they said it was working. Uh, I sent both units to them and they were checked to, as a pair. And that would be the tack generator on the engine and this indicator. The exhaust temperature, what they're going to consider here is continuous normal rated is 699 degrees is 699 degrees Celsius. Or basically 700 degrees Celsius. That's about 1290 degrees Fahrenheit. Have, at maximum rated power setting, we have 718 degrees Celsius. Starting, you're allowed 871 degrees Celsius, maximum for a period of three seconds. Acceleration, you're allowed also 871 degrees Celsius, maximum for a period of three seconds. So those specs are given is and you're not to exceed those uh, these are otherwise damage will occur so that is the reason why we have an exhaust temperature gauge that we want to keep an eye on and the percent RPM is just uh, as if anything else if something is not to overspeed the engine okay
Okay, well there is the purpose and use and you can see in the run the percent RPM never got above 40 <clears throat> and I knew that the uh, turbine nozzle was starting to break down I was not very comfortable revving, running the engine at all much less at anything above a, a reasonable small, a lower setting well that's about all I have as far as uh, video time of engine running uh, until further repairs can be made Hopefully winter we can get this fixed and spring and summer will bring uh, more video time of the engine running. Maybe one day I'll actually be able to run that RPM on up to 100%. We'll see. Once again, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.